my name is Amira Tankle. Today we'll be following my day doing medicine. So we'll be doing lectures this morning, we'll be having lunch at the medical school, and then we'll be going to Sam Fox House to do some clinical training. Then coming home, chilling for a bit, and seeing some friends this evening. Hopefully in this video you'll get an insight into, well, the day in the life of a medic. Right, wake up. Mm, usually not long before lectures. Wash my teeth, shower, get dressed, grab the food that I need for the day, and leave for lectures. And now it's time to get ready. I went home this weekend and I got the best bagels ever. I'm thinking tuna mayo bagel. People can judge me if they want, but I don't care. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> anyway. Wow. We've just moved into our new house, so everything's a bit crazy. We are currently walking to the med school. Um, it's only like, I'd say a seven minute walk. Depends how quickly you walk or how late you are. That's the bus. You'll, that'll become your best friend, the 120. Why Sheffield? It's got really good vibes from it. I know that probably sounds a bit basic. <laughs> like just from visiting it, everyone seems super friendly. I love how green it is. And also really liked the med school. I really got the impression that they were trying to make good doctors and good people rather than just medical machines, which I think, to me, that's definitely what attracted me to coming to Sheffield. We're going down to the lecture theatre now. There's three lecture theatres, but you will really get to know MLT1. Oh, sorry. You'll see him in MLT1. <laughs> Seminar rooms, when you have things like ILA, which stand for, I want to say integrated learning activities. They're really good. They're little like smaller groups. And enter. There you go. <laughs> okay, so this lecture is on the mental state examination. Um, so like, I assume the lecturer will like, be running through like, if the patient were to come to you with some like mental health problems or something like that, then we need to know how to obviously do an examination on them. And that's what this lecture is about. So lots of lecturers do lots of different things. Some will give a presentation for an hour, some will give a presentation with interspersed questions and open that up to the floor. Some lecturers do things like this, where they do a presentation and they get you to discuss things. Some even get in like patients uh, to kind of show and explain what they're talking about, which is really good as well. First two years are quite lecture based. So in first year, you'll have the lectures in the morning. They'll usually start at nine and we'll either finish at like 11 or 12-ish. Um, and then in second year they're in the afternoon, so they start at one and finish at three, four, five, whenever. Now we're kind of starting the more clinical years, so currently we have lectures interspersed with clinical skills that are doing in the afternoon, which we'll see later. We are currently in the medical school, which is actually attached to Royal Hallamshire Hospital. Um, but more specifically, we are in the medical school cafe, the thriving hub of the medical school. You can get your coffee, more importantly, you can get your cake from there. They do good meals deals actually as well, which is important in between lectures. You can sit and chat with friends here, do some work, and actually follow me just through here, just down there is the library. The sacred location that is. <laughs> Where are we going next? We're going to the Northern General for our clinical teaching and learning like the physical examinations on real patients. We're gonna get the bus, it's called the H1. It's free if you use your U-card. It's just a shuttle bus that goes backwards and forwards all day so you can catch it any time yeah. you need to get there. At the minute we're on the uni campus which is in the centre of town in Sheffield but the northern's a bit further out. So it's like a 20 minute bus ride depending on traffic. Like whenever we have 
clinical training is always done at the Northern General because they've got, it's a hospital, but they've got a teaching unit attached to it. Hello. This bus is the H1. We are, uh, it's just a shuttle bus between the Royal Hallamshire, which is where we had our lectures, and Northern General, where we've got our clinical skills. Some of the patients are volunteer patients that have genuine illnesses, and others are actors that have come in and they pretend to have something wrong with them, but either way, it's still a way to learn how to communicate with a potential patient or have do a genuine examination on them as well. Yeah, Sheffield has this really good scheme called Patient as Educators, um, where like literally just patients from the community volunteer to help us. So like if we are learning, for example, today we're learning about GI, uh, gastrointestinal, um, and we're learning about how to do those examinations. Uh, like patients from the local Sheffield community will volunteer to like let us examine them for that, um, which is an amazing scheme, I think. Thank you. Here is the beacon of the medical school sandbox, sandbox house. house. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Let's go in. And you will be told so many times that Sheffield has the best tree to student ratio. Four trees for every person. Wow. <laughs> No, tuna's falling everywhere. <laughs> I'm a really unattractive eater, that's not fair. Hello. And this is Will, he's our patient. You're more likely to keep it in your head if you guys do it. I am Amira, a third year medical student. Please, can I confirm your name and date of birth? So today, we're going to do a GI abdo examination, um, which will involve exposing you from the waist up um, and having a bit of a feel of your stomach. Does that sound all right? So what we just did was uh, one of the, well, that was Will. He is obviously from Sheffield and he's volunteered his time to enable us to essentially examine him, like go through what a GI examination is so that we can practice it on him. And part of the GI examination is a PR exam, which means a rectum, which essentially means that you have to put a finger up someone's bum to like have a feel for what's in the area, see if anything's abnormal. You've got to imagine it like a clock face. So you, there's a lot of arm movement involved, like that. And the prostate, it's the clock face, that's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's lumpy. Is it rough lumpy or smooth lumpy? Smooth lumpy. The three C's, uh, council, consent, chaperone. So always bring chaperone with you for your sake rather than just the patient's sake. Okay, so that is my day of work done. Um, and now just going to go back to the house, get out of my placement clothes um, and see some friends. It's now social time. I've come over to Jack's house, say hi Jack. Hello. We're gonna cook dinner together. I'm a terrible cook, Jack's an all right cook. So when we're together, we cook really well. Yeah. I dropped on the floor and it's literally like snapped in half like that. Yeah, we've logged Oh. <laughs> Sheffield tried to put two medics, at least two medics together in each first year flat, which is quite good because then you've kind of got a buddy when you start. It's because there are so many hours that you put into the course, you're bound to make course friends who you then socialise with outside of medicine. Not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. I feel like since coming to Sheffield, I've become, I feel like it's the classic things, like I've become more independent, more confident in myself. And like with each passing year with, in medicine specifically, like realise more and more that like it's the right course for me and that I'm on the right track, which is quite nice. I get less imposter syndrome as well like in and amongst the university and within the course, which is, <laughs> which is nice. I feel like less like, oops, I've accidentally been placed here <sighs> and more like, oh, maybe I could actually do this. So that is my day. Um, hopefully you've got a bit of an insight into what it's like to do medicine at Sheffield. And uh, hopefully you come. Hopefully I'll see you next year or the year after that. <laughs>